The newest update in backpack battles adds a lot of interesting changes to the items and adds two new very overpowered items to the game. Starting with the nerfs and buffs, we have the flute, which no longer applies the same effect twice. Its block also got buffed from 12 to now 14. Mr. Struggles has changed a lot, now giving that 50% increase in attack speed when you fall below 50% health instead of when fatigue starts, which is really interesting considering what happens if you don't fall below that 50% health. But then again, if that doesn't happen, then you're probably going to win. The Sean Tabata Flask now reduces healing by 30% for three seconds. That's pretty cool. The Staff of Unhealing got a big nerf with its stamina going from one a second to now 1.5, which is pretty nasty. The Dark Saber got a slight nerf being a little slower going from 1.4 to 1.5. The Villain Sword got a nerf going from the cooldown of 1.2 seconds to now 1.3. Not a big change. The Excalibur's mana cost is now 12 instead of 13. The damage of the Pandanomia has increased by 1. The Falcon Blades cooldown went from a 2.2 to now a 2.1. Little small little change. The Burning Torch's damage chance has increased from 25% to now 30% and that's a nice buff. The Ruby Chunk damage has increased by 2. The Crossblade's got a slight buff going from 1.6 seconds cooldowns to a 1.5 seconds. The Rapier's gold cost dropped from 13 to now 12. And the Great Source cost has dropped from now 15 to 14. All around some pretty solid nerfs, some pretty solid buffs. Nothing too crazy. I feel like the biggest change is probably Mr. Struggles. And then also the Burning Torch having that 5% increase in the gaining that plus one damage can really help out in the early games for those, you know, who want to use that weapon. And now it's time for the brand new items. Now we did get a new godly item, which I called a bunny because I don't know how to say its real name. And we also got a new unique item, which I called a super dragon because it looks like a super dragon. Uh, both of the items are pretty awesome and honestly a little broken. Now the bunny increases your stamina regeneration by 1% for each debuff. And after three seconds, it will give you three buffs. And if that wasn't enough, it also triggers 20% faster for each pet item that you have inside of the star slots. Now for reference, the Gooberts, the dragons, and the bird count as pets. This bunny is every single Bloodthorn user's wet dream because it practically generates you infinite stamina, along with giving you just random buffs to back you up. This item will directly benefit any build out there that requires a lot of stamina, that being Bloodthorn build, uh, the Great Sworn build, or pretty much just a bunch of weapons or whatnot. Rock this, and you don't have to worry about stamina ever again, especially if we have like two three four five six of them now for the unique item being the super dragon aka the dancing dragon now this item deals plus one damage per heat along with having that two percent chance to resist debuffs per clover it also gains one heat and one clover at the start of the battle per magic item on the 10 stars that it has with the magic items mainly being anything that deals with mana so the mana torch the mana aura, the magic staff anything dealing with mana this counts as a magic item now this item by itself is pretty solid however i believe it can get even better for reapers specifically if it's combined with the ruby chunk considering each hit of the ruby chunk gives you that one heat which will directly increase the damage that this unique item does and on top of that the ruby chunk doesn't cost mana now combine this with the bunny and you have pretty much infinite stamina only thing you need now is a bunch of birds to speed everything up you have infinite scaling on attack speed infinite scaling on dps and you have infinite scaling on stamina you're pretty much set forever but yeah let me know what you guys think about these new items i'll be dropping a run with the new item tomorrow so look out for that and uh, i will see you guys next time.